Now then, how's everybody doing? I uh, hope you're all well and uh, hello again. Um, an update from me. Uh, not a lot's been going on other than the video that uh, Ricky and I put out the other, the other week when we was messing around with the Allegro. Agatha, you darling. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, other than that, I've done absolutely bugger all. Um, only particular reason is it's been a bit cold and a bit wet. Um, and looking at how things are out here at the moment, I'm at work at the moment, and it's lashing it down. So I don't really want to get wet in the week and then do it in the weekend for fun. Um, past all that. So I'm waiting for a little bit better weather before I do anything on any cars, at least, anyway. Um, so what can I tell you? Right, well, the Ambassador, the Mighty White, is still mighty. Uh, no change there, of course, naturally. And uh, Mrs. Wynn is still waiting for me to finish it. All I need is probably about two or three good weekends, and it's ready to roll. Um, but again, it's just not been the weather. Uh, and like I say, I'm not getting wet and cold just for the fun of it. Um, so that's, uh, I'm obviously still waiting. It's on pause at the minute. The Black Ambassador is as is. Um, we're going to worry about that next year and we'll document it. Hopefully this year, actually. We'll see how things go. But probably looking towards the end of the year, I might make a start on that one again. Um... The Jag. The Jag. It's been no more misfiring since it was misfiring. Um, so, I really don't know what the hell went on with that. Uh, obviously, I've disturbed something, something and it fixed it, so... I don't know. Uh, that's all I can tell you on the Jag. Other than uh, it passed its MOT at the start of the year. Uh, passed with flying colours and it has however developed a little bit of a coolant leak um, I don't it's not head gasket or anything like that uh, if it were I probably would put some petrol in it along with the match so it's it's not that bad where it's overeating or anything like that it's just losing a little bit of coolant um, and I've got a funny suspicion it's going to be the header tank. Um, looking on the Jag forums and whatnot, it flags up quite a lot. Um, and there's a lot of evidence of dried up coolant underneath it, or wet coolant, depending on when I've looked at it. So, that's going to happen. Obviously, I'll document that with a video, um, putting a new header tank on. And then we'll see how it goes after that. But really, other than other than that little silly little lead, the Jag is performing absolutely brilliant, along with the Mighty White. So um, I'm going to hand you back to Ricky. So stay tuned, folks. Nice to see you. Nice to talk to you. We will be back very shortly, and um, with something completely different, or not. Right. Have fun. Bye. I'm going home. Hello there. Yeah, thanks for the update, Lee. I thought I'd let Lee go first because channel favourite, you see. I know the pecking order now. <laughs> anyway, how are you doing? All right? Um, yeah, it's been a while since we've done an update just driving along like this. Um, I did do a poll on the channel saying, do people want to do the waffles? Um, I don't really want to put a video out for the sake of it. Just talking on my way to work although I enjoy doing it and it was a mixed bag really at the minute I think 55% said yeah do them 45% said don't so it, it's neither in or there so I think I'm just going to continue doing what we do now which is just put a video out like this a catch-up one if we haven't done anything for a while but not make one for the sake of it um, and again I keep apologizing but that's just how I am the lack of content I'm sorry, um, as Lee said in his clip just, the the weather's against him um, working outside, quite rightly when he works outside all day fixing forklifts and stuff, and 
to be honest, I don't have the, the fleet amount of cars to generate work. You know, Agatha needs a few bits doing on her, but they are just either cosmetic or for the sake of it. And I don't really want to go out in the garage and do stuff in the cold for the sake of it. Um, I can do it, you know, when the weather gets a bit nicer. I don't rely on the car. Um, so, unfortunately, I'm not going to make a video unless I have to, really, with that. Um, speaking of Agatha and the channel itself, um, 17th of March 2023, it'll be three years since I actually started this channel with a, with a chat very similar to this where I was driving to work and I hadn't got a clue what I'm doing. Nothing's changed, really, apart from I'm probably a little bit more confident on the camera. Um, and it will be three years on the 21st of March that I actually collected Agatha from Somerset um, just before the lockdown. Remember that? Yeah? Um, in that time, the channel is now just nudging half a million views. Um, I think probably by the anniversary we'll hit that because we're about 400 views away from hitting half a million, which is quite staggering really considering I don't put out the content um, you know like some channels there's plenty more channels that I follow car wise and I know you lot do that I see you comment on their videos as well that fire video is out either weekly or even two or three times a week I just can't compete with that because this channel really isn't my main focus as a YouTube channel although I do it for a hobby you'll some of you will know anyway that I also do another channel with my camper van and uh, that's a lot more focused because the, the content generates itself we go camping therefore we film it and we go camping quite a lot um, so not that you would miss me but if you haven't followed my other channel I'm on that a lot more um, I'll stick a link somewhere or there'll be one in the description anyway um, so yeah uh, if we go on to the cars like Lee did, I'm obviously in Judith the Rover now. This car, <laughs> it's just amazing. I know it's so boring and so old footy and whatever, but I've had it nine months now. Um, and it just does exactly what it should. You know, you turn the key, it goes. I've not had an issue with it. As we know, it flew through the MOT. It just does exactly what it should. Um, there's been nothing to report. I'm running it completely on um, the cheap unleaded petrol now, the E5, simply because it, other than two or three more miles to the gallon on, on super unleaded, it, it doesn't really matter. It's not a sporty car, so I'll just dawdle along in it. I'm getting high 38s, low 39s to the gallon constantly on, on e, E10. Um, so I just I just start it, run it, drive it. Um, I've got a few bits for the car that I uh, bought off a guy on the Rover forum. Hello, Chris. Um, believe it or not, I've bought a tow bar for this car. Um, not to pull anything stupid. Um, obviously, I've got that little trailer. Ah, big van. <laughs> that was close. I don't know if you saw that. Um, yeah, I've got... Um, obviously the little trailer which is always handy to have um, and this will pull that easy enough but what it is I actually have one of those bike racks now that goes on your tow bar that I use on the van a lot and um, sometimes we fancy going on a bike ride out of our area but don't want to take the van so I can put the bike rack on the back of this and, and that so I've got a tow bar for this I've got some little knickknacks for this um, front fog lights if I decide to fit them bits and bobs like that but I don't know so my plan for getting rid of Judith the Rover sort of this time of the year I don't think it's going to happen to be honest um, it's just too reliable um, so consequently the turnover of cars on the channel isn't going to happen so there's not going to be a massive amount of um, you know content from me unless something goes wrong so I obviously rely on Lee a lot for the car content or for when we mess about with with Agatha or whatever um, and then obviously the other little bits that I put on here 
that some like, some don't, where I go on the trains and stuff. So this channel's never gonna get a video a week anymore, I don't think, but we'll always be here, and specifically more in the summer and the good weather when, when we can work on cars and go to car shows and stuff like that. Uh, I've got a few car shows planned this year. The first one being uh, 2023 is the 50th anniversary of the Allegro um, being released in 1973. There's a massive meeting at Gaydon planned in May. I'll put the date below because I can't remember off the top of my head. But we're attempting to get 50 or more Allegros there for the 50th birthday. If you've got an Allegro, it's free entry and um, you don't have to pay to come in or anything like that. So. I'm looking forward to that. I've obviously got a few more little little shows that I'm going to try and get to if I'm not camping, and then the usual um, Tom Morley Milton Kings one at the end of the year. So really, my cars, unless something happens to the Rover, should pretty much stay static. I can't see me getting anything else. Um, can't see me getting rid of Agatha until I just have nowhere to keep her anymore. Um, and for those interested in the Kia, um, if you remember at the end of one of the videos, it had a starting issue. That's all been fixed now. One or more of the glow plugs had completely gone and Kia fixed all that under warranty again, no cost. Um, Heather, my partner, if you don't know, decided in the end not to go through with buying the Vauxhall Crossland that she'd ordered. Um, it, I think we were seven months in and we still hadn't heard anything and in the meantime she changed jobs and the car policy there meant she didn't have to have a car that was under five years old so she just decided to keep the Kia because it's just such a good car um, so that's it really for me with the cars and the channel and stuff like that um, just to say the next time I see Lee will probably be the weekend of his birthday party he's gonna be 50 soon his actual birthday is the 23rd of March he's gonna love me for telling you He'll be 50 on the 23rd of March and um, there's a party for him I think he knows about it he should be he does really his band is playing at the party so he's not even gonna get a night off but he'll probably be drunk so his bass playing will get a bit better um, yeah so Lee's birthday party is on the 18th of um, March so I'm going to that what we're going to try and do, or at least I'm going to try and do, that weekend I'm not going camping, so I will try and get Agatha out of the garage that weekend just so I can drive her three years, give or take, to the day when I first picked her up. Um, but obviously that's weather dependent. If it's pouring down, crappy weather and stuff, I, I don't know. So until then, that's about it from me. You can tell I waffle a lot. I used to call these Waffle Wednesdays. It will be released on a Wednesday, that's tomorrow for me, but because I've got to piece Lee's bits in and put some additional text in and stuff, I'm recording this on Tuesday. Also, I drive the Kia to work on Wednesdays. I thought I'd do it in the Rover. We'll see you later. Um, hopefully we'll have a car video for you soon. Bye bye from me and Lee, somewhere in the ether.